Hi, I'm Zachary Cowan, the author of the Steady Daily Books, and thanks for joining me for a look at Doctrine and Covenants, section 113. It's common when reading scriptures to read things that we don't understand. So how do you approach that? Do you just keep reading on? Do you stop, ponder, and pray about it a little bit? Do you make a note about it and then ask somebody or look it up somewhere and try to find more? Or do you quit reading scriptures for the day because you just don't understand them? For Joseph Smith and Elias Higby, as they had questions, Look what they did. They then took their questions to the Lord. In verse 1, in verse 3, in verse 5, and verse 7, verse 9, they were asking the Lord questions so that they could get revelation. And that's a good indication of how we should study scriptures. We should stop, ponder, pray, ask questions. Uh, they go to Joseph Smith to ask questions, and if he doesn't have the answer, then he goes to the Lord. And we can expect to get great answers. Now, the questions that they're having is about Isaiah. And we can understand that. A lot of people, when they read Isaiah, have questions. One of the issues with Isaiah is, is he loves to use the same image and the same wording to mean different things. And so the first five verses are all about questions about this image of a stump with a new shoot or a new branch growing out of it. And Isaiah will use this image in three different ways. So at the beginning of Isaiah chapter 11, uh, in chapter 10, all these trees are cut down. That's how it ends. Like everything is lopped off. And then out of one stump, a new shoot or a new branch, a new rod starts to grow. And Isaiah uses this, this idea of a shoot, a branch, a rod, and it confuses people because you've got roots and a stem of Jesse. And it's like, it's the same image. But people think he's moving on because he's using different words. He uses this to mean three different things. So the first one is, if you read it in context of Isaiah 11, up, the second coming has just happened and everything is cut down. And then out of that grows this new branch, this new rod. And it is Jesus Christ in his millennial reign. Now here, Joseph will ask the question, and it will mean a totally different thing than just Christ coming forth. It is showing that Jesus Christ, out of Jesus Christ, this stump, this root, grows a new rod, a new branch, or priesthood power, or a prophet, and, or Joseph Smith, or Brigham Young, or uh, President Nelson. And then later on, they will refer to like verses 10 and 11, and Isaiah is going to use this same stump again, and he's going to say, look, also when there was an apostasy, and all of these churches were cut down, they've lost authority, out of them, out of this branch of Christianity came a restoration and a new church, a new prophet came forward as an ensign to the nation. So you have three meanings off of this one image and that is why Isaiah sometimes is so confusing. He doesn't move on, he doubles down and pulls more out of it. So you have out of this stump growing a new rod, this new branch represents Christ during the millennium it represents prophets coming from Jesus Christ, and it represents the church coming forth out of apostasy. That is marvelous. All right, Elias, Elias Higby has a question now, and his question is, all right, in Isaiah chapter 52, what's up with this whole thing where the Lord talks to Zion? He's like, arise, bring forth, put on your new garments, shake the dust off, arise, sit down, arise, sit down. Like, what is going on here? This is temple language, where the Lord is inviting people to arise, to shake themselves from the dust of where they've been, to change their lives, to arise, to be dressed and adorned in priesthood clothing, to make covenants, and then to sit down in new places. See, it would be kind of interesting to act this out, right? Arise and sit down. You just have people stand up and sit down in the same place. No, God's saying, arise from where you've been in this dust, in this old way of living. Adorn yourself in new clothing and then sit down with new covenants prepared, and you sit down in a new mindset to go forth. This is really good stuff, and I hope that you've learned some great things about asking questions, asking questions of the Lord, getting further understanding, and realizing that when you read Isaiah, there's lots of different ways that it can be interpreted based upon your time in which you live, and an image can be used again and again to teach us different things. Let's arise shake ourselves from our old way of living in the dust that we were in, put on new garments, clean ourselves, use the atonement, become adorned in it, and then move forward with a greater commitment, sitting down on those principles that we now inhabit. Hey, thanks for studying. Thanks for living it. We'll see you next time.